I am Florian Helberg from Edelweed Knowledge Base. And today, I want to show you what happens when I attach my carabiner from the second lanyard to the central ring of the harness. We recreated the fall from earlier on the Via Ferrata here at our fall station. This here is the Via Ferrata cable, to which a carabiner from the Via Ferrata set is attached. This here is the energy absorber, and it is connected via the harness to the full mass, the 100 kg torso here. I am now attaching the second carabiner to the central ring. What happens with sets that are not 180 degrees misuse proof is that they short circuit the absorber. We will take a look at what happens in that case. So now we've seen that if I clip the carabiner into the central ring with the set that has no protection against that certain misuse, it's fatal. Now let's take a look at what happens when I clip the carabiner up here into the other one, so the energy absorber can function correctly. So you can clearly see when the carabiner is hooked into the other one, the set can operate freely and break our fall mass with forces within the standard. I think you have seen vividly what happens when I attach the carabiner to any load-bearing components on the harness, while using a set that isn't 180 degree misuse safe. That means it is important if I only want to attach my Via Ferrata climbing set to one carabiner. Then I can attach the second one to the first carabiner, or hook into the loop after the fall arrest absorber. There are also climbing sets that are constructively safeguarded against this 180 degree misuse. This is one where you can see that the two branches are hooked separately into the quick loop. And the absorber is divided so that the branch slides into the absorber and doesn't brace against the other one. So here you can see with this 180 degree misuse secure set that it is designed so the lanyard can slide over the fall arrest absorber and thus the set cannot be short circuited.